What if you could open your front door or unlock your car just by raising your hand? And what about turning on a coffee machine just by pointing to it? This is not the future anymore. Cyborgs with little RFID chips under their skin are living with us. Thousands of people have plotted the tiny devices under their skin to be able to have simple access to buildings or phones. What do you need to know before getting an RFID chip implant? How will it be implanted? Is it a painful process? How would an RFID chip make you more futuristic? And what if you refuse to get implanted? Are the chip implants hackable? The radio frequency identification technology has been around for decades. It is a tank, label or a comp that can exchange data with a reader using radio frequency signals. The RFID chip is very similar to a barcode label as it also typically works with a scanner or reader although it has a wider scope. You can use it for almost anything – clothes, shoes, vehicles, animals and even people. Well, there are several things to think through as an RFID implant isn't a temporary tattoo which can be removed by taking 10 showers. RFID chip would be implanted into your hand between your thumb and your index finger on the back of your hand. The pain level of implantation of the chip is that of bee sting or giving blood. The same is promised to be true for removing the RFID chip. Studies have shown that even the longest exposure to RFID tags does not have any negative consequences of health. RFID chips as luggage tags make sure that your suitcase arrives where it was supposed to go. Dogs getting pedicure in New York as they are most likely RFID chips for identification and you probably already have a personal RFID chip that goes with you everywhere. It's in your credit card. It could transmit your identity information as you walk through a security checkpoint enable you to use public transport and make you check out within minutes in supermarkets. You don't have to worry about losing your most important documents on your wallet ever again. Moreover, imagine that in a magical emergency situation, the first responder only have to scan your hand to get to know every valuable bit of medical data about you. If you refuse to be planted in future with the RFID chip, Nobody's gonna force you, but it will become difficult for you to cope with emerging technology. While talking about hacking the RFID chip, some biohackers say that it's very easy to hack an implant, so you'd rather not hide your life secret in the implant's memory. At the end of the day, yet the technology is very promising, upgraded systems have to be designed to work with these chips. So are you getting an RFID chip? Share your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned to the story of why.